is an old man. We really take great care of him, just like elderly people. To keep him comfortable and safe, Sudan has his own private living quarters, a wooden enclosure known as a boma, where he sleeps. One of Zach's daily jobs is to make Sudan's bed by raking away any large stones. But when it's about uh, maybe nine or 10, when the, when the sun is getting hot, then that's the time he might come. So I prepare for him. So whenever I feel like coming and have a nap, it's okay. And he can feel comfortable. Twice a day, Zach feeds Sudan a specially formulated diet, which includes vitamin supplements. And he records every detail of his activities in a daily journal. The day is on 12th of March, 2016. Sudan was in good body condition and healthy. Um, throughout the day, he crashed well and also drank water and wallowed. And there was no medical issues th uh, throughout the week. He was healthy. Sudan. So right now, Sudan has a wonderful life. Um, he gets looked after and pampered by his keepers on a daily basis. He's living the life of a retired old grandee um, and enjoying it in the process. Sudan also receives regular checkups from the Conservancy's on-site vet, Stephen Ngulu. His health is good despite his age. He's walking, he's eating, his appetite is very good. So what I'm doing is just a general checkup to see whether the organs are functioning well. He is well looked after because of the situation. I wouldn't say he's, he's pampered. It looks like he's pampered because he is the only northern white rhino male remaining that we know of. 